Mr. S. Travel quest. No, thank you. All right, how you guys doing? Hope all is well. Today we made a home visit to San Angelo State Park and we're at the south side entrance. And we're gonna check out some trails and uh, see what there is to do. Are you excited about that? Yes. So we're here, we decided to stay here. We decided to stay home today. Um, we didn't wanna to travel too far out. So we decided to come down to the San Angelo State Park. We're keeping it local. And right now we're uh, at the playground area right over here and Ruth where are we gonna go uh, I think we're headed to the horny toe trail I think it's that way all right let's do it Ooh, there's animal tracks down there that trail is called Roadrunner I think the weather today is beautiful, uh, not too hot, it's about 51 degrees in January uh, 2020 and we're just walking around, checking out some of the, the trails. So far it seems very flat, obviously we're in West Texas, uh, it's very dry, um, but yeah, uh, we're going to check out the area on the south side and I think tomorrow we're going to check out the north side of the park. All right, we're about to check out some wildlife viewing center and we're about to take some pictures and we're gonna post it on our Instagram page, uh, Mr. S Travel Quest. Well, we're gonna try to be quiet this time because the last time we slammed the doors and scared the birds away. Yeah, so we'll make it a little quiet. Hopefully we get some good photos. We just left the bird blinds and it was pretty cool. Nice little area to take some. Uh, we got to see a cardinal. Yeah, up close. Pretty close. close. And uh, we got some footage of that. Took some pictures. Um, pretty neat little area. Uh, it's right when you enter uh, South Side. You drive up maybe a minute and then you make a right and you walk to it, which is nice. I like it. And uh, we're going to check out some more of the park. You ready to go to Strawberry Trail? There's no strawberries here. You can see animal tracks. What do you think comes through here? Deer. Deer probably. Food. Bike trail. We just got done with the Strawberry Trail. It just goes into a, like a little loop. Maybe what, 0.5? I miles 0 0.7. 0 0.7 not too bad uh, you can see in the footage just you're just kind of surrounded by I, I, I don't even know what it's called but it's nice it's like the weather's tree nice slash tree slash I don't know if you know let us know yeah if you know what it is let us know in the comments below uh, but yeah it's a nice little trail you can take with the whole family nothing too strenuous Behind us, we have the O.C. Fisher Lake and O.C. Fisher Dam. But yeah, we're gonna go down and, and check it out and uh, see how it looks up close. My name is Nick, it's my wife Ruth and uh, we decided to make a channel uh, on our journey. So Mr. S Travel Quest 
and uh, our plan right now is to visit um, all the Texas state parks. So we are from San Angelo and we know what to expect when we come out here. Um, but if we're going to visit all the state parks then we have to come and visit our very own state park. It's nice down here. I was saying, you know, we get people can take family portraits down here. Um, I don't know, this is like a little IG spot right here. Little IG spot, but I am not gonna take my shoes off and get in the water today. <laughs> not here at least. All right, welcome to day two. Uh, we're headed to, uh, of course, San Angelo State Park, the north entrance. And uh, we're gonna check out some of these trails. And I'm excited because I'm gonna use my little drone that I got. And this is one of, one of the few parks that you're able to use the drones. Uh, I think there's a total of 89 state parks in the state of Texas and uh, there's only two parks that you can use your drone in so this is one of them so i'm excited i'm pumped hopefully we get some good footage of that today We think these are bike trails, but we're walking through them. Pretty nice. I, I know San Angelo is big on biking and uh, the San Angelo State Park is great to get outdoors. So far, comparison, uh, north side, uh, the north entrance of the park, it's a lot greener. It's a lot going on. We already noticed uh, more trees in the area and it looks like it has a little bit more trails so far. Um, I'm going to pan it around and show you what I'm looking at. It's more woodsy. More trees. Uh, beavers used to occupy this area and uh, you can see them gnawing on some trees. I haven't seen one personally but they told me they're about three feet tall. Um, I would love to see one, not up close, but <laughs> at a distance. But as you can see, uh, I'm about to show you them at work. Look at that tree. There's something running over there. Uh, I'm scared. Oh, it's a skunk. I can smell it. I can smell it. It's a skunk. I do not want to get sprayed. Oh my gosh. I think it ran away. What could it be? I swear, if a three foot beaver comes out at me. The deeper beaver comes out, we're running. <laughs> it's like as tall as me if it comes out. You already said, what if there's a skunk? I think we're okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Are you scared? I'm so scared. <laughs> Do you think that beaver came out? Got you? Ready? Yep. You ready? Yeah. You got any? There you go, look. I'm pumped. I just flew this little guy. 
not too bad. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how the footage turned out. When I get back to the house, uh, I'm gonna take a couple more shots. I only got one battery for this bad boy. Uh, but I plan to get uh, the Spark. That's the next one on my list to get. Uh, if you guys have experience with drones, uh, which drone do you guys recommend? Um, I know you can't fly most of these guys in state parks, but in San Angelo, this is one of the few parks that you can. And it looks like we're the only ones out here. We're trying to make it out of here before the sun gets down. So far, we're making some good time. Um, the trail markers are a little beat up, so it's kind of kind of hard to tell which way you're going, but we're hoping we're going the right way. We've, it feels like we've been walking forever. They're so pretty. Look at that. I was just talking with Ruth and uh, we, there's no way we're gonna be hiking this in June, July when temperatures reach over 100 degrees. Yeah, there's no shade right here. You can see everything. All right, we just made it out of Dinosaur Trail and it took us a good about 45 minutes. Probably more. I think it took us an hour. I think we did the entire trail. I don't yeah, know. we did the, the bike trail and then the horse trail, just. But I think it's because partially it's because it's not really marked. Like it was difficult knowing which way to turn, which turn to take. Yeah, everything know. was flat and uh, you know, but yeah, we made it. We're here, uh, we're going to the car, and till next time. All right, we're capturing the moment, end of the video. Uh, if you like what you saw, please make sure you give a like and subscribe to our channel, Mr. S Travel Quest. Uh, but thanks again for watching, till next time.